Hasidic Gems on Parshas Baloscha. It says in the Torah, Baloscha, it says in the Torah, Vayadabra Hashem and Moshe Lamer, Hashem spoke to Moshe, and tell Aaron, when you, when you light the menorah, exactly how to do it. Moshe Rabbeinu instructed Aaron exactly how to how to light the menorah in the Mishkan. Vayas Kain Aaron, and Aaron did exactly exactly as Moshe Rabbeinu instructed him. And Rashi says, Vayas Kain Aaron, Lahagit Shifchei Shel Aaron Shaleishina. This comes to teach us that. Praise of our own. Shina. He did not do anything differently. Exactly as he was instructed, he was instructed, he did. Comes to my mind now a famous story that when Rabbi Kotla, Zechat Tzadik Levrocha, was Nifter, the Satmarov eulogized him. And he said this Rashi. Lahagit Shifre Shal Aaron Shina. He said the praise of Aaron of Aaron Rebaran Kotla that he didn't change. He kept the Mesora, the tradition, as it was and he didn't change. That was the way the Satmarov was Maspid Rebaran Kotla Zechat Zarakovrach. But getting back to the Pasik itself, the Pasik stresses that Aaron did exactly as Aaron Akoyan did exactly as Moshe Rabbeinu instructed him. He didn't change. That's the simple. The Chassidish Torah have all kind of different things they want to learn from this Pasuk, from this Rashi. Shina means change, didn't change. Shaloi Shina. But there's, there are other translations of Shina. For instance, the Gemara says by the Megillah, the Gemara says Megillah Sesta, Chayev Odom Likreyos HaMegillah Balaylo. You have to read the Megillah at night. It was Shnoisa Baboka. The next morning, you have to repeat it. So the Shanoisa and Shinoi, Shalai Shina, Shina, uh, is the same same word. So we have a new translation now. He didn't repeat it. In other words, that when Aaron HaKohen lit the menorah, the tenth time, the twentieth time, the thirtieth time, it was never a repeat. It was never a repeat. He always did it the twentieth time, thirtieth time, fortieth time, was as if he did it the first time with the same care and caution to do it right. So that's how, how we have to learn to do a mitzvah. It should always be never a repeat. It's the first time, it's the first time we're doing it and with, with, with all the Zahiris. I remember there was a bar mitzvah bocha and if I would just got by mitzvah and he put on tefillin for the first time, his father told me that when he put on the tefillin the first time, he was like shaking. He was so, so, uh, so enthusiastic and so cautious and careful, knowing he's doing a mitzvah of the Torah. And the first time he did it, it was, it was with such enthusiasm. And that enthusiasm should according to this in translation that it means repeat it was never a repeat it was oh it should always be the, the, the first this the 20th time 30th time we do a mitzvah we should do it as if it's the first time continuing with Hasidic gems on Parshas Baal Oishcha. continuing with the same Rashi that Aaron HaKohen did not change, he did exactly as he was commanded. Perhaps we have a, another interpretation that Aaron, after he did the mitzvah, he could have really 
showed he could have really bodily seemed to have been totally different after he did the mitzvah or while he was doing the mitzvah could have been so enthused but no the Hasidic Torah says that Aaron you couldn't tell any shinui the word shina would mean shinui any change you couldn't see any change any hispilus during the during the mitzvah I might sometimes a person does a mitzvah he gets so he really could start shaking and he could uh, it was totally internal the greatness of Aaron's doing this mitzvah totally internal not external at all and that's the way we have to do mitzvahs we have to do mitzvahs internally and not show show ourselves doing mitzvahs where others might be able to see continuing with Hasidic gems on Parshas Baaloischa it says in the Torah that the Kohan that the um, Levim replaced the Bechorim. The Bechorim used to be, be the ones that are the closest to Hashem, the firstborn. But the Torah says, Nisunim, Nisunim, Hemali, for they are given to me, given to me, out of the um, from among the children of Israel, instead of the firstborn. Nisunim, Nisunim given, given to me. And Rashi says, Nesunim, what's the repetition here? Nesunim l'masa, Nesunim l'shir. They are given for carrying. The Leviim had to carry, had to carry the, um, the furniture of the Mishkan. Um, they were given for carrying, and they were given for singing. They had sung the... Um, during the Avoida in the Mishkan. That's the simple. The Hasidish Eternal Achtela, Sarava Kodesh of Chaim Meyemi Vishnitz, says despite the fact that they were involved in carrying, which is a load, they didn't stop singing and thanking and praising Hashem. Even if you're doing hard work, you have to be able to sing and thank Hashem for the privilege of serving Him. Continuing with Hasidic gems on Parshas Baha'u'llah, it says in the Posik, Posik, Perik Tes, Posik. Yud. It says, Daber al Bnei Yisrael, by Daber Hashem al Moshe Leimer, Hashem spoke to Moshe, Ishish ki yi etome lenefesh, if a person had become defiled by reason of a dead body, he, he, he became tome, ay bederech rechaika, or in a distant way, he was far away, lochem ay lederi seichem, either you or your generations. Can he still possibly bring a Korban Pesach? Yes. He can bring Pesach Sheni. Bachirish Hashemi, he can bring the Korban Pesach. That's the simple. Ki yi etome lunefesh. Oi bederech rechoika. If a person will be defiled or will be at a distant way, far away, and he can't bring the Korban Pesach, he can still bring, he can still bring the Korban Pesach. That's the simple. The Hasidic Eternal are telling us, you know, you know what could make a person Tomei? You know what could defile a person? Or you know what could keep this person at a distance? He's not doing the right thing. You know what it is? Lochem. Yourself. 
A person who is only interested in himself, that brings Tumah, that makes him be Tomei, and that makes him be Bederach Rechoika, he's far from Hashem, he's far from what he should be, and it's all because Lochem, because he is uh, only interested in himself, for you, for himself. He's only worried about himself. He's not, he doesn't try at all. He doesn't understand that we have to help each other out. We have to help people. And that's the source, that's the reason that a person could become Tomei Lo Nefesh or Bederach Rechoika or a distance from Hashem. So that's the limud that we have to learn. We cannot think only about ourselves. We have to see to help others. We should be zeichet to this. Amen. Continuing with Hasidic gems on Parshas Baloischa, the Torah says that if somebody is tomei lo nefesh or bederach rechayka, somebody defiled himself to a mace, to a to a dead body, or he's too far, he can't bring, and he couldn't bring the carbon pesach, we give him a chance to bring it in the next month. Bachodesh Hasheni. But the Pesach says, for Ha'ish Asher Hu Toher, but somebody who was clean, he wasn't defiled, he didn't defile himself. Over Derech Loi Hoyer, he wasn't far away. For Chod Alasa is a Pesach, and he didn't bring the Korban Pesach, and the Torah continues to speak about him. But we're talking about a Ha'ish Asher Hu Toher, a person that's, that's clean. Over Derech Loi Hoyer, he wasn't far away. That's the simple. The Hasidic Eterlachs are saying, the person that thinks that he made it, Asher Hutoher, I'm, I'm the greatest. Asher <laughs> Hutoher, I am the greatest. I am clean. Uvederach Loihoya. And that person is not on the right derech. If a person thinks he made it already, he's not over derech lehoya. He missed, he missed the boat, he's on the wrong derech. person should never think that he made it, that he's toher. There's nothing wrong with him. A person should never think that way, because if he does, he's on the wrong track. Sikum, a summary of the Hashkofas HaToyra that we, that we learned in the Hasidic Gems. We learned that a person should strive to do mitzvahs not in a manner which, where he repeats himself. He should always be as if he's doing it the first time. And that person that's doing it always the first time will be so careful and so cautious and so enthusiastic that it'll be different than just rote, than just doing it again and again and again. It should always be it should never be a repeat. It should always be as if it's the first time. We also learned that a person, when he does mitzvahs, don't worry about the externals. Don't worry. Don't 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 try to externally show that you're you're doing mitzvahs. But it, you're 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 doing the mitzvahs should be totally internal. Nobody has to see. It's between you and Hashem. You and Hashem. Nobody has to see that you're doing. You're not doing it for anybody. You're only doing it for Hashem. So it should be totally internal. We also learned that despite the fact that sometimes we have to go to work and we have to and we have to carry burdens and everything, but we should still be able to sing and thank Hashem for everything. Let not our difficult burdens make it too difficult to praise and sing and thank Hashem for everything. We also learned that if a person is only interested in himself, he has no desire to help others, if he's only interested in himself, that brings the person to become tome, to be defiled, to be not good, and that causes the person to distance himself from Hashem. It all stems from
the fact that he only cares about himself. Then we learned that if a person thinks he made it, he made it already. The Torah is so big and so great and so, and so, Mayim Shein uh, Lohem Seif, there's never ending waters. If a person thinks he made it, I'm going to relax, I'm going to take it easy, that person is not on the right track. We should be zecha to all these beautiful hashkafas, Hasidic hashtaf from the Hasidic gems. Amen v'yamen.